Hello! I am so glad you're here for a story from the Big Picture Story Bible. Remember, this book shows us how the Bible is all one story. It's the story of how much God loves us, that He loves us so much He sent His Son to be our rescuer. So, I want you to get your book, get it ready so you can follow along, and then at the end of the story that you hear today, you're going to have a fun activity that you can do at home. Part 24, God's New Kingdom Spreads. For 40 days after his resurrection, Jesus taught about God's kingdom. He told his chosen followers that they had kingdom work to do. He said that although he must go away for a time, they must wait for a gift he would send to help them do that work. And then suddenly Jesus left them. He was lifted up into the sky. He took his throne in heaven and began his kingly rule. His followers went back to Jerusalem and waited. They waited and waited for the promised gift. Ten days passed, and then they heard something. There was a loud sound like the wind blowing. It came from heaven and filled the room. Then they saw something. Little flames of fire floated overhead and came to rest on each of them. Then they said something. They were praising God in languages that they had never learned. The promised gift, the Holy Spirit, had come to them. Other people also heard the wind and the voices, but they did not recognize the Holy Spirit. They wondered if Jesus' followers were drunk. Peter raised his voice and spoke, These men are not drunk as you suppose. He told them of the prophets who had said God would send his Spirit. He told them of Jesus' death and how God had raised him to life again. He told them to repent and to believe in God's forever King. This news entered into their hearts. Many confessed their sins and believed. On that special day, God's Spirit gave new life to many. God's people were growing in number again. And as the good news of God's kingdom spread, still more people repented and believed. The good news spread and spread and spread. The word that was preached in Jerusalem went out all across the land. It spread to people in Judea. It spread to Samaria, too. Later, the Apostle Paul spread it as far away as Rome. Far and near, people from every nation were beginning to follow Jesus as their king. Hi, families, and welcome back. In today's story, we learned how Jesus told his people that he was going to send them a special gift um, to be a helper with their works. And that special gift was the Holy Spirit. And then the good news of the gospel was spread throughout the land. Isn't it awesome that God sent a helper and a protector for us? So today I have kind of a fun activity for you to try at home. For those of us that choose to follow 
and ask for God's guidance, this is kind of a representation of that. So get a bowl of water and get a pepper shaker and get a little dish soap. So the water bowl represents the world and the pepper, I'm gonna dump it in the bowl. That represents all the sin and temptations and the yucky stuff of the world. But for those of us that choose to follow Christ, we can ask for his protection. So if we put our finger in the pepper and bring it out, there's pepper all over the finger, all the yucky stuff, because we didn't ask for God's guidance. But if we put a little bit of soap on our finger, this thin layer represents the Holy Spirit and God's guidance. And then we stick it into the bowl. You probably can't see it. The pepper goes away from it. It's a really cool experiment. You should try it at home. But that represents that if we ask Jesus into our lives and for him to be our guidance, and if we follow him and listen to him, that he will protect us and he will guide us in the, um, the right path. So have fun. You're going to need a bowl per child because it only happens, it only works one time. I hope you have fun with this and um, just have a great day. Romans 5, 8, but, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8.